This is section D, um, and this is the first lecture, lesson in section D, which is on energy transfers. This is a particularly straightforward topic. Um, energy transfers is covered a lot in Key Stage 3. So we're going to look at types of energy, energy transfers, conservation of energy, Sankey diagrams and efficiency. So the first thing we need to remember is that there are eight types of energy um, if we don't count nuclear. All right, so our eight types of energy we have are elastic, which is a potential energy, gravitational potential, we have kinetic energy, thermal, light, sound, chemical, and electrical. Now, it's important to be able to think about every situation and any every energy transfer incorporating one of these eight types of energy transfer. So if we think about, for example, um, a light bulb. When a light bulb is turned on, a light bulb has energy going in and it has energy coming out. Now the energy going into a light bulb, my terribly drawn light bulb, apologies, the energy going into a light bulb is electrical energy. Now the energy coming out is light and also heat. So when we think about every machine in the world, all that it's doing is it's transferring energy from one type into another. But when it does that, it always creates energy which is wasted. And that energy which is wasted is often thermal. And what's interesting to remember is, when we look at this, the energy that goes in is always equal to the energy that comes out. So if we go back to the example of a light bulb. If we were to have joules of electrical energy going into our light bulb and we were to have light and thermal energy. If this produced 5 joules of light then we know by the law of conservation of energy that whatever energy goes into a machine the same energy must come out so therefore we must have 45 joules, because 45 plus 5 is 50, we must have 45 joules so that the energy out equals the energy in. Now the efficiency equation, in order to calculate the efficiency, the efficiency of something is the useful energy out divided by the total energy in. So if we were to look at the efficiency of this light bulb, the efficiency is the useful energy out divided by the total energy in. So the energy out, which we want, the useful, is 5. The total energy in is 50. So the efficiency of this light bulb is 0.1. We could convert this into a percentage if we wanted to, uh, and times it by 100 and see that it's 10% efficient. Or we can write it like this as a number less than 1. This way is fine. Okay, unless you're asked to convert it to a percentage, but this way it's fine. That's how efficiencies are typically written. Now, you could also be asked to construct what's called a Sankey diagram to illustrate this information. So if we took, we'll take the same example of the light bulb, and if we think about it graphically, so we said the light bulb had 50 joules going in, and only five of those were useful as light. So if you were given a graph like this, You'd have to think, well, how many squares have I got? So, one, two, three, four, five. So this here, I'm going to use these five squares to show 50 joules. So each one of my squares represents 10 joules. So here, I've got 50 joules 
of electrical energy going into my light bulb. But I need to represent graphically using the Sankey diagram how much energy is useful and how much energy is wasted. So going across the top in a straight line, I need to think, how can I show five joules of useful energy? So if each one of these squares is 10, five joules is simply half a square. And that would be how much useful energy I have. And all the rest, which is four and a half squares, all the rest, one, two, three, four and a half, all the energy here is wasted. Now it's important to remember, this is 45 joules, and this is just five joules, this is light, and this is uh, thermal. But what's really important with the Sankey diagram is, at the beginning, five squares, and to demonstrate, to illustrate the efficiency, to illustrate how much energy is going into light and into thermal energy, it's important to make sure that the width of this is proportional. So I've got one, two, three, four and a half squares for 45, and I've got half a square there for five. But again, we can see that this adds up to 50, the same as that. And from a Sankey diagram, we could work out the efficiency by seeing that it's five divided by 50, which is 0 0.1.